Hi folks, this is Donald. In this video I want to ask you a question. Have you ever gone back and looked at the first sketch you ever did? That's exactly what I'm doing in this video and the reason is that one year ago this week I did this, my first ever sketch. It is of a bookshop in Edinburgh and as you can see it was pretty ropey, not that great at all and it was done in ink and watercolour and I'm going to go back, try and redraw the same scene and see what I've learnt over the last year or not learnt is maybe more appropriate in my case. My process has been the same for a little while now and I always start with a pencil sketch but I, I've just skipped over that for this video because you could barely see it and I'm going to be drawing over everything in the ink. I think this is a really illuminating exercise. If you can go back and find your original first sketch, I think you should give this a try because it is really fascinating to see how I have changed the way I construct scenes and I suppose my ambition about what I would consider being able to draw or not being able to draw. When I first chose this scene it was because I quite like bookshops and Edinburgh is full of quirky little bookshops. I thought that would be an enjoyable one to try drawing first but I really didn't have any clue what I was meant to be doing and so I was totally just making it up as I go along. I had absolutely no idea about any kind of drawing techniques and then I painted watercolour over the top. It was a totally basic watercolour set that came in a beginner's art set and I was so clueless that I was painting that straight onto a sheet of printer paper and then I was wondering why all the paper was shriveling up. Yeah, I had no idea what I was doing at that point. Obviously I've learnt a lot since then and my sketches have got considerably more wonky and less realistic as time has gone on and that comes from confidence. That comes from being confident enough to draw without thinking I have to get everything accurate because I actually remember getting really frustrated at the sign armchair books. I could not get the lettering right. I drew it in pencil and then I would get it wrong so I would rub it out and then I would draw it again just this is just lettering I must have done about five or six times trying to get the lettering absolutely perfect and I think that's one of the big things that I've learned over time is to not be bothered about accuracy I'm drawing for fun and that was a real revelation for me once that struck home I changed the way I sketched and changed the way I enjoyed sketching and so you can see there's barely a straight line it's all entirely wobbly but I do love that that's part of why I sketch it was finding this way to do things And if you do have your original first ever sketch lying about in an old sketchbook, do dig it out and have a go at drawing it. If you're able to go back to the same scene or draw it from the same photograph, it would be fascinating, I think, to hear how you got on re-sketching it. Does it show visually how much things have changed? Have you changed the way you sketch now or do you still sketch in the same way you did from the very beginning? And do let me know in the comments. I think it would also be helpful for any new beginner sketchers who have just done their first sketches and are getting frustrated. Maybe just to be reminded that you will get an awful lot better at this and you will enjoy it more as you go on. Once I've finished the ink stage, which I have now, I then start colouring in with brush marker pens, having erased all the pencil marks. The big thing for me is that's changed is obviously when I did the first sketch, it was in watercolour, and now the vast majority of the time I use India ink that comes in marker pens. So these are Faber-Castell India ink markers.
think the big thing for me is when I found these and found that I enjoyed using them, it really changed things because when I do colour scenes, watercolour or coloured markers, I always seem to have difficulty when I try to pick a certain colour, I get the wrong colour, or I go over the top with it, or it just goes wrong somehow. And when I do shades of grey and black and white pictures, obviously you don't have any of that concern and you're really just building up layers of contrast and tone. And for me, I find that much more satisfying. As a sketcher, I find it much more enjoyable to draw and it simplifies things because you're really only thinking about the shades of grey and not having to think too much about accurate colours. So even though the bookshop is green here with a bit of maroon, everything I'm doing is in shades of grey except for the little signature yellow. This is something that's crept into my sketching in recent months is to turn a light on and that started because I was going in and turning off all the lights. Originally I was doing that with a very dark grey and then I switched to black for scenes like this so it's turning off the lights and it gives it a very bold graphic novel type look which I think is quite striking. So I've just kind of stuck with that ever since, but then had the idea of wondering what it would look like if you turned on one of the lights. And so that's usually what I do, is I just turn on one of the lights and I leave the rest turned off. And actually in hindsight for this sketch, I would have used the yellow in the bookshop to turn the lights on in the bookshop. It would have made more sense because you're putting the focus as the bookshop. That was the reason why I sketched this. So I should have put the focal point as the bookshop. But every sketch I do, I'm always looking for ways I could have improved. And I think that's the, one of the things I would have done in this one, is just shift the yellow to another spot. You can see now it's about building up all the different layers and it's not remotely realistic. And I'm using all the different levels of grey shaded markers. So I start with the lightest. And the great thing about when you start with the lightest shade and work up the way is that these pens can be layered and each layer gets progressively darker and so it's an excellent and very straightforward way to add lots of contrast to an image. What I've learnt from going back and looking at my old sketch and re-sketching the scene is I can see visually just how much things have changed and it is remarkable how much things can change in such a short space of time to think where I am now to where I was a year ago and I'm not saying they're amazing sketches but they're my sketches and if you are a beginner sketcher this is something I would emphasise to you very strongly is if your first sketches are awful or if you think they're awful keep them and then a year or two down the line, go back and look at them and you'll be probably quite amazed at the difference. And then you'll actually quite enjoy the fact that you kept them and didn't discard them in a fit of rage, as I almost did with my original sketch. Because now I can look back and see how much progress I've made and how much more I'm enjoying sketching, which is actually the main point of all this. It's about making sure that I do enjoy sketching and I'm not too worried about trying to impress anyone or be entirely accurate with whatever scene I'm sketching. So long as I enjoyed doing it, then that's the main thing. And then I just move on to the next one. And speaking of the next one, I have plenty more sketches in my growing library of sketching demos. And if you would like to see another one, you can click down here and I will see you there.